Good afternoon, everybody. A good evening, wherever you are. Um, let's talk a little bit about. Well, first of all, um, <laughs> I'm not, as you all know, I'm not actually on a yacht, but the background is um, relatable to what this conversation is about. And let's talk about retirement. Okay, so let's talk about retirement. Um, how many of you are ready to retire? Or are you ready for retirement? Or better yet, are you prepared for retirement? Now, I'm whew, <laughs> I'm fastly approaching 58 next month. My birthday, March 27th, is I'll be 58 years old. Um, so uh retirement is 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 has been on the forefront of my mind um since I turned about, oh, believe it or not, I didn't think much about it until after 45. <laughs> you know, and and um, I should have been thinking about it a lot earlier than that. But fortunately enough, I'm able to create platforms and businesses that is going to secure my retirement very well. Um, you know, my latest venture, you know, RBBS, uh, LLC Corporate Consulting for a freight brokerage firm is the ultimate retirement package. Well, not just for myself, but for those who are, who are involved with it, the consultants, who work with my work within my consulting firm, uh, within two to three years, they're retired with residual, residual seven-figure incomes. So and and that's what I consider the ultimate uh, retirement. When you can be retire uh, from something with residual seven-figure incomes, my lord, I mean, that's where it's at, right? So let's talk about that for a minute. Let's go ahead and let's talk about the, the elephant in the room. Are you prepared for retirement? If you are, you know, 30, 40, 50, even 60 years old, are you prepared for retirement? You may be ready for retirement, but are you really prepared for retirement? If Is what you're doing right now going to provide the ongoing revenue that is going to allow you to live a lifestyle that you want to in your golden years? Mm, big question, ain't it? Are you going to be one of those people who are going to have to depend on your children to take care of you? Is someone going to have to put you in a home? I mean, these are all very serious questions, but these are very real possibilities. Yeah, I know I'm normally not this serious, but, you know, these are, these are serious things to talk about. And Setting up a great retirement or setting myself up for retirement was one of the reasons why I have put all my, well, not all my eggs, but the majority of my efforts have been placed in the trucking and freight industry. For one, it is a recession-proof um, industry. You know, everything around you, take a look around you, I mean, everything, the clothes you wear, the food you eat, the cars you drive, the house you live in, you know, everything, everything. Even the ground, very ground we walk on, okay? It, materials came on the back of a truck before it got to its final destination. And nothing proved that more than the pandemic. 2020, 2021, 2022, when businesses were closing up and they shut down restaurants and people couldn't go out to eat and the workers couldn't work and even, even state jobs were shutting down um, for because of the pandemic, no one wanted to be in proximity with each other. Everyone had to work from home and people lost their jobs and it was just crazy, right? But what happened with the trucking and freight industry? Not only did it not slow down, but it gained. It picked up because with all these people going to their homes to live and work, they needed their stuff. Look, what we have created with our consulting firm, we have created a way for us to profit from the most, the highest revenue producing segment in the trucking and freight industry, which is brokerage firms. We have created a way for us to profit from brokerage firms, to run brokerage firms, but we don't own any of them. Currently, we have two brokerage firms on the contract, each on a 10-year contract. 
for us to run the day-to-day -day operations of both brokerage firms. We have six more who are slated to sign on with us before mid-summer. And I imagine we're going to have a lot more after that. Matter of fact, I just spoke to two gentlemen here just this past week who, who will be contracting us to run their brokerage firm within the next three to four weeks. So obviously I can't run all these brokerage firms myself. So what I do is I have an opportunity out there for people to become consultants within my brokerage firm. Now we have both career or job opportunities and then we have business opportunities. Now, job opportunities that we offer is our positions that we offer within the brokerage firms that we manage. Freight acquisitions executive, carrier group manager, brokerage processors. Okay. Even our job positions will eventually lead the people who are working those positions. They are on a legitimate path to seven figures a year. Okay. And it's not a very long path. It's actually a very short span of time that they will reach that if they do their job correctly. With, inside of two to three years, they'll be at seven figures a year. Some will reach seven figures a year inside of a year because some would just be more successful at their sales position. Now, consultants, however, not only will they reach seven figures a year within the first year, but during their tenure with our brokerage firm, they could, they very well could set themselves up for triple digit seven figures. And what I mean by that, $100 million a year. Now, some of you all may be saying to yourself, now you're just talking ridiculous numbers. No, I'm not. Do your research. TQL came onto the scene about nine years ago. Total quality logistics. Do you all know that last year, their revenue was somewhere in the neighborhood of $13 billion? $13 billion. C.H. Robinson, who's been around for about 20 to 25 years, their revenue last year was in the neighborhood of $33 billion. Landstar's brokerage firm, I think they did approximately $9 billion. Don't quote me on that, but somewhere between $6 and $9 billion is what Landstar's brokerage firm did last year. In fact, the average brokerage firm that is four years old or older are averaging gross revenue somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to $700 million per year. That's right, 40 to $700 million per year. And these are the brokers from that are not doing exceptionally well. The exceptionally well ones, they're doing 1 billion, 2 billion, 3 billion, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 billion, upward to $33 billion a year. So on this side of the industry, it's a whole different ball game when we're talking about the numbers, when we're talking about revenue. This is the top of the food chain when it comes to revenue being produced within the freight and trucking industry. Brokers, freight forwarders, fr freight forwarding firms, uh, and definitely shippers. Those are the top three producers in the freight and trucking industry. A lot of you all may say, well, truck companies make a lot of money too. And they do. Truck companies do make a lot of money. But they don't make what brokers make. Even the, even the top trucking company tops out about what? Maybe a couple hundred million, 200, 300 million, which will be night transportation. They've got about 2,700 trucks. By the way, one of our brokers firms is, is signing up them. Uh, one of our brokers firms that we manage has access to more than 5,000 trucks right now. So yeah, trucking companies do make a lot of money, but they're nowhere near what brokers firms make. But here's the problem with, with a lot of brokers firms right now. A lot of brokerage firms are young brokerage firms where people have been taught by freight broker trainers that all you need is your bond, your insurance, your SAT code. Just get your credentials. You can go into that business and make a lot of money. But when they get into this side of the industry, they find out that there's a lot more to it than just getting your credentials. Approximately right now, 90%, 90 to 93% of all new freight brokers firms that start up within the first two years, they're out of business. Very high turnover. Those that are able to adapt to what this industry, to what this industry really is about and get past that fourth and fifth year, they're usually making more than 20, 40, 60 million dollars per year is what their revenue is. 
But currently right now, 90 to 93 percent of all new freight brokerage firms, when they come into the industry in under two years, two to three years, they're out of business. Because here's, here's what they fail to realize. 99.9% of this industry is sales, corporate sales. And if you don't know how to recruit, hire, and train great salespeople, you're not going to make it on this side of the industry. And that's what we excel at. That's why we are so successful at coming in and contracting while brokers firms have been successful with us coming in Contracting us to take over their firms and run their firms because we are great at recruit, hiring, and training salespeople. And we know how to run brokerage firms. We know just about everything there is to know about drainage. We know everything there is to know about container loads. We know everything there is to know about dedicated freight. We know what is you know what we need to know about. You know, FTLs and LTLs and all the other things that go into this world that we call the freight industry. But behind all of it is sales. And that's why we're able to make these brokers firms so successful. Now, currently right now, we're the only game in the business. There's no other freight broker management firm in the industry. We created this niche. We're the first. We're the only ones here. And we're doing very well at it. So if you're really looking for a way to retire, a way to set yourself up, to get yourself really prepared for retirement, you may want to give us a call. We'll sit down and we'll talk to you about how we can put you on the right track to retire. Now, to become a consultant with us, is it going to cost you some money? Yes, it is. We don't, there are no consultants that work with our consulting firm who does not have skin in the game. So on this side of it, you have to have skin in the game, but you will quickly see that within the first year, we will have you set up with seven figure residual income. So by the time you take over your actual brokerage firm, and by the way, once you once we do assign you to a brokerage firm to run, you will receive a percentage of every brokerage fee that is produced by that brokerage firm. That's where your money is coming from. But before that, we're going to have you working within one of the brokerage firms that we currently manage. And you're going to be able to work all three positions that we have available in those brokerage firms. And you're going to be able to earn your residual compensation from all three positions, which turns into about 30.25% of the brokerage fees of the shippers you onboard, the carriers you onboard, and the processing you do for those shippers and carriers. Can you imagine that? An average six hundred dollar brokerage fee, and your and your percentage of it is thirty point two five percent, which comes out to be somewhere in the neighborhood of one hundred and sixty some odd dollars per brokerage fee, one hundred twenty eight somewhere 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 in there. I mean, I'm not I don't have my calculator out right now, but it's going to be somewhere between one hundred twenty eight and $160 per broker's fee. And the broker firm has only got, you know, let's say one shipper, just one, just one shipper. And that one shipper is only sending over 100 loads per day. And the broker's firm is only booking 25% of those loads. That gives you $128 to $167 per broker's fee times 25. Quite a bit of money. We're talking about a little over five thousand dollars a day, and that's residual income because you get that for as long as that shipper is contracted with that brokerage firm. And for every load that that shipper, every load that we book from that shipper, every truck that runs a load from the carrier groups that you sign up, you're going to get your percentage. See, that's real retirement. And not only that. We have what's called vested retirement for the, those people who come and work for our brokerage firms. For those of you who don't know what vested retirement is, that means if you devote enough time onto the company, the company is devoted to you receiving your salary or your 
residual or your compensation even after you left the company. So if you come to work for one of the brokerage firms that we manage, and you're with us for at least five years, you can retire after five years and keep 50% of your residual compensation. If you stick with us for 10 years, the full contract of that brokerage firm, you can retire after 10 years and keep 90% of your residual compensation. In fact, when you come to work for one of the brokerage firms that we manage the first year, you are a 1099 employee. Okay, you don't have benefits. But if you stick with us for at least that first year, after that first year, you have benefits. We have health, dental, 401k, vision. So, and you can also choose to become a W-2 employee, still on your residual compensation on your commission basis. So, look, I know retirement is a real scary thing to talk about whether you're ready for it, whether you're prepared for it, you know, it's the current job you're doing now is going to help sustain you in retirement. I know that's scary. I know it is. So if you want to go ahead and see if we're the right choice for you, and we may not be the right choice for everyone, but if you think that what we have will fit for you and helping you to become truly prepared for retirement, give us a call, 866-973-6445. Or you've probably seen a bunch of our stuff on LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook about our seven-figure affiliate blueprint. Check it out. All right, everybody. Thank you all for joining me. I'm going to go and relax. Not on a yacht. <laughs> Not on a yacht. Not just yet. But I am going to go and relax in my man cave and i probably just hang out in the backyard with my dogs off the rest of this. It's a nice Friday afternoon. Beautiful outside. But look, I just wanted to come on and I wanted to have this serious conversation with you all about retirement. Okay. So it's a very serious subject. And I know a lot of you all is may not be on the forefront of your mind, but it's something you really need to think about. And it's something you really need to do something about it. All right. Thank you all. Y'all have a great day. Bye, everybody.